everyone, today's video is a Christmas gift guide for men, which I don't normally do because I find men so difficult to buy for. Um, but anyway, hope that you find a couple of these ideas useful and let's get started. In my research for this video, I asked quite a few different men what was on their wish list and just some of the things were so bizarre that I just thought I can't put those in the video. So what I've done is I've rounded up a general selection, and it's quite small, it's just a couple of ideas really, of things I think would suit most people. So to start off with, we've got little gadgety things. The thing that I wanted to show you was this. It's a battery pack charger, and you slide your phone into this, and then you get twice as much battery. Um, so it's pretty handy if, I mean iPhones are completely useless, they run out of battery within about two hours. So if you're out and about in town or you're travelling, and you need to have extra battery for just kind of even making two phone calls, then this is quite useful. Um, you can get it in black or white, I think. I don't know whether there are any other colours. My second thing is for the iPad mini. So iPad mini, and this is the Logitech iPad mini keyboard. And I think this is really, really good. I've had this for about a year. It magnets onto the side, like so. So you've got a nice kind of protective cover. And then you've got it's not a full-size keyboard, I'm not going to lie, but it is really, really useful. And um, if you get used to the fact that basically all the letters have shifted over to the left just very, very slightly from a normal keyboard, which is a little bit annoying, they're just off centre, so if you're used to typing on a full keyboard and you're really fast, you might find yourself making a few mistakes on this, but once you kind of shift your mindset to it, it's really, really good and you can type very fast and it's very, very light. My third thing is this, this is the Canon Legria Mini, or actually this is the Vixia Mini because I bought this one in the States. Um, it's about 250 pounds and it's kind of like the ultimate selfie video or vlogging camera because you can turn the screen so you can look at yourself and um, it's just really, really simple, on, off, and it's got two different filming modes, but it's a fixed lens, so you can't do any zooming or anything like that. And it's got loads of really nice preset uh, settings on it, so you can film in the darkness or on a beach or in sunlight or in snow or what have you. And I think it's just really clever, very slim line. Um, it's got a stand on the bottom, so it just makes it easy to film. You don't need a tripod, you can kind of stick it anywhere. And I kept meaning to do a full review on this, but I haven't quite got round to it yet. But I really do like it. It's a really good quality lens. And I just think it's a nice kind of innovative design. This is the Philips Sonicare Diamond Clean 300 series. I think that it will appeal to many men because it is black. I don't think I've ever seen a, a sleek black toothbrush like this before. But I just thought it was quite cool. Uh, and it really is the Rolls Royce of toothbrushes. Um, gets really, really good reviews. To charge it up, you place it in its own little charging glass, like so, and that's how it charges. That's got a little base that plugs in, obviously, it's not magic, um, but I really, really like that. So if you're going to do some kind of grooming present, then that one is not too shabby. Oh, everything else is kind of fragrancy, run of the mill, not run of the mill, but really nice fragrances, but um, just kind of what you would expect. So I told you this was going to be short and sweet, and it really, really is. First of all, um, the entire range from Nukes Men. Everything in this range smells amazing. I really, really love it. And it's not too expensive at all. This is the new men's range from L'Occitane. And... Cedre Orange. Cedre Orange? Never know how to pronounce half these things. Really, really beautiful fresh men's fragrance. I like this a lot. It's new out. It's a little bit like a cologne, I suppose, in that it's very light and fresh, but it's also got slightly more depth, I'd say, than the usual cologne. Uh, and it's it's a great standalone fragrance. I mean, it's not just one of those ones that you airy fairly spritz around the bathroom when you've had a shave. I think that that could really work as a, as a proper all-round fragrance. This is Blur by Chanel and um, a really, really nice fragrance, but some people didn't know it comes in this humongous bottle, which I think makes a very special gift. Particularly like this little magnetic cap here. Don't know why I find that so pleasing, but I just think this elevates it from um, just the usual fragrance gift, just because of the size, really. 
Next one is uh, one of the Christian Dior kind of luxury perfume blends, and this is Ombre Nuit. A lot of these are very unisex, but I find this one quite masculine. And again, we have Magnetic Cap. And I just think that this is a very different male fragrance, and it certainly smells very exclusive. And it's one of those ones, because of the price of that one, I suppose, that you're not going to smell many other people fragranced with it. You know, you're not going to walk down the street and everyone's going to be wearing it. And then lastly, anything by Tom Ford. It's just so masculine as well, the packaging on this. Really, really lovely. And uh, this is Oud Wood, which is one of the most popular, I think, signature scents, private blends. And I really like this one. This one is very, very masculine. Again, these are supposed to all be kind of unisex, but I'd say this one leans very much towards the masculine. So there we go. Uh, very short and sweet, as promised. I now have to catch the Eurostar to Paris in nine minutes time so I will upload this and edit it and what have you on the Eurostar and then look forward to Friday's video because that is going to be the female gift guide and I will be in Dubai when that goes up so it's a little bit of a hectic week but I hope that you enjoyed the video and make sure you subscribed and make sure you give this a big like and I shall see you next time.